Up next, he hails from Minnesota's first family of music. They were awarded uh, not too long ago a prestigious award in Minnesota, and he is coming to New York City to play at the Iridium nightclub Thursday night on the 12th this week, and uh, he's just a great guy. He's been a, a great friend to our show. I don't know how many appearances he's been on the show, but uh, we always are so happy to have him on. His name is Paul Peterson. How you doing, Paul? Again, my old buddy. Yeah, we we uh, I think we last touched bases just shortly after Prince passed away, and uh, you've been right. awful busy with uh, a lot of things Prince related, Minneapolis related. But you've been cooking up some great solo music and, and nice videos, and uh, what you know that that's it a sp- speed uh, version of what's been going on. But uh, what's been going on lately since we last talked? Well, you're right. I've been. Uh recording a lot of new music, so that's been exciting. I decided to uh, focus more on my solo career than Epilux or anything like that, just for the moment. So I'm actually in the process of negotiating a deal with the European label, mm-hmm. so that's the good news. We're getting very close to signing, <clears throat> so that means a uh, new record by me, I'll have it done in the summer. God only knows when they'll put it out. But um, so I'm really looking forward to to uh, diving in on that. I'm I'm already halfway done. Right. So and uh, lots of playing, man. It's been a, a lot of fun. I did a gig in uh, California in January at Vibrato, mm-hmm. and Andre Simone was there. David Z was there. Ingrid Chavez was there. Um, uh, there's so many purple people were there. It was fantastic to see them. The support I got was just great. Susanna sat in with me. Wendy was there. She played a little bit with me. And we just did a gig here in Minneapolis at the Dakota with Sinbad, and we called it Funkity, which was a blend of funk and comedy. Yeah, so we was, had yeah, right. an absolute ball. He's such a good guy. And we we have known each other for many years, but finally got to do a gig with each other. And, and, it's, and now this yeah, New York right. date, in, uh, in this coming Thursday, March 12th at the Iridium. Yeah, which uh, is uh, us. Yeah. I'm playing. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, uh, you're playing with one of our great friends on guitar, Carl Burnett, and your brother-in-law is also playing on the gig, right? He is. It'll be great to have, excuse me, have him with us. Mm-hmm. And it's a power trio, man. We've got video. We've got, so you get to see all the stuff from the old days, the, the old videos sync up with everything we're doing. So it's, it's really a cool show if you haven't seen it. Well, you, you also tour with the Minneapolis uh, Funk All Stars, and uh, this is a trio. Now, I know Carl because he, he played uh, my TV show um, with Will Calhoun and Tony Tino a few years back, and Carl likes to improvise and just plug in and play. Uh, how do you, you know, you're not playing with these guys all the time. How do you uh, get get a gig together like that and make it sound so smooth? Well, Jay and I have played this gig, this particular gig, quite a few times, and uh, and I I have played with Carl then quite a few years, but we've remained friends for years, and I trust him. Mm-hmm. I send him the stuff ahead of time. We've got a rehearsal book. Wednesday, and then we do the gig on Thursday, and we're going to be fine. Plus, oh, yeah. a lot of it, man, they've got such great sensibilities. Mm-hmm. It's all about partying and having a good time, and you know, we don't we don't take it so seriously. But the music is serious, but you'll hear the fun in the music. I mean, it's spontaneity and it's funky, and it's, you're going to love it. And let me get people uh, the particulars on Paul Peterson's show. Thursday night, March 12th, in New York City, 8.30 p.m. start. The Iridium located on 1650 Broadway in Manhattan. Tickets are extremely cheap, 20 bucks. And uh, Paul Peterson. Bucks. Yeah. Woo! Paul Peterson. Paul Peterson with the time and in Purple Rain, and uh, he's been going at it strong for so many years. We'll talk more about uh, Paul and his family. But uh, we're going to get into, uh, I believe, the first single that came off a, a record which – a future record, but this is uh, one of your latest single, uh, You Got to Love. Oh, yeah. Where, where'd you um, do the video for this? That's all done uh, in Minneapolis. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of it was shot in a, in and around the studio that I've uh, recorded at for almost 30 years called Creation Audio. Right. So, nice young kid from Poland, actually, was the director on that. I thought he had a great vision, and we had a great time. Stylish clothes, yeah. too. You had some vintage, uh, vintage suit on, on that one. Oh, yeah. You know. <laughs> That's right. The old dog still is clean, you know. That's right. <laughs> Paul Peterson, St. Paul, is with us. Always great to talk with him. You can uh, go to Paul's website, paulpeterson.com, and uh, check him out. Down in New York City, this is uh, You Got to Love, Mr. Paul Peterson. Yeah, funky as ever. Only those from Minneapolis, St. Paul can make that authentic uh, music right there. That is St. Paul Peterson. Uh, you got to love. Love that song, Paul. Paul Peterson, you there? Hello, Paul. Hey, Paul. Hey, yeah. Paul. Yeah. I love that song. You got to love. We're, we're connected with Paul Peterson coming to New York City. And uh, you got the true Minneapolis funk and roll style. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that, that was a fun one to write with my nephew, Jason. That's right. J.P. Delaire, Jason Delaire, who uh, brings his buddy Frank Frank into the studio. You ever record with Frank Frank? <laughs> Frank and I haven't sat down together quite yet, but I'm looking, he's been pestering me to do a record with him. That's right. He's a little uptight, but he's he's very good. He's very good. Yeah, he he may show up at the Iridium. You never know. I hear sometimes he's in that area. Yeah, I thought he used to work at the Catskills, but okay, here he comes down to the city once in a while. Right. Hey, Paul Peterson is with us, and uh, you can go to paulpeterson.com. And uh, let me ask you about the, the big award you received and long overdue in, in Minnesota to the entire Peterson family. They were honored uh, recently, and uh, just a night of the Petersons. Tell us about it. Well, we were honored with the Hall of Fame Award, Minnesota Hall of Fame Award, this last November. And we... Uh, we went down to New Ulm, Minnesota, where the uh, museum is, and it's such a quaint, cool little town, and the ceremony was beautiful, so heartfelt, and these guys are so into what they're doing. Definitely not Hollywood, but which was great, and they really were excited about having us there, and the other, um, we were honored to be alongside people like Soul Asylum and, and many other folks. So to be recognized at this point in our career is so uh, so great. We have, you know it's always nice to get a pat on the back, and I'm so proud of my brothers and sisters. And the fact that we continue to play music together is a testament to the love that we have that and what music does for us. It brings us together. It's like the greatest thing, greatest communication tool we have. Right. So it was. It, it was really an incredible night. Um, you know, your your mom and your dad were honored as well. Uh, they they set the tone for a great family. Um, let me let me ask playing the keyboards. I know you played drums as a little kid, but um, did did you yeah. start to touch your parents' keyboards a lot? Piano? Oh, sure. Mm-hmm. They made me take piano lessons from the nuns from the time I was four. Oh, wow. I think I didn't want to do it anymore at age fourteen. Ah, okay. <laughs> Right. You know, they had me getting at age 15, so it threw me to the wolves, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I was playing drums at 15, and then keyboards in the time when I was 17. So okay. the keyboard thing, yes, I definitely sneak and play. But I was playing way more Stevie Wonder than uh, than I was playing Bach. Oh, okay. Or, yeah. or Chopin. Hey, Paul, we got to say hello to a few people listening out there. I want to say hello to uh, Jackie Thompson, our, our mutual dear friend out there. Listen, who. I love you, Jackie Thompson. And, and she. I, I was going to play you the track uh, when you were playing on the bus with your daughter and everything. Jackie was there, too. I saw her in the intro. Oh. I think she was there, right, Jackie? What, which, in, which video? When you were playing on the bus in, in L.A. Oh yeah, she was there. Yeah, yeah. I saw, that's what I was saying. I saw her in the video. The band. 
Right, right. Jam in the fam. Yeah, yeah. That that was incredible. There. I wasn't I wasn't putting it together. Now I know what you're talking about. Right, right. I didn't give you the yeah, right Jackie name. Yeah. That up. Right, right. He looked that up. Also, our, our dear friend out in Australia, Lady Lisa. She, I know she's oh, listening. My little niece. That's right, your niece. That's my girl. Yeah, yeah. She's been on our show several times and uh, has a show of her own uh, in Australia. So she's been supporting you guys for so, so long. And, uh, man. Well, we love her for that. And I get my Lisa fix every time I go there. Yeah, yeah. She, she's always there. Support. I'm overdue now, though. That's I right. am overdue. <laughs> and, and Jelly Bean, you've been jamming with him off and on. We saw her Jelly Bean over the summer. Um, Jelly Bean has worked with you on a couple things, right? Bean and I play together all the time. We'll mm-hmm. be playing again together uh, during Celebration. It has not been announced yet, but I'm playing June 5th at the Ice House. Okay. So save the date if you're coming here to Minneapolis. And I'm doing a bunch of other cool things that I'll let Jackie fill you in on. Right. And I'm doing thing also. Uh, yeah, lots of lots of activity around that time in June, but soon to be announced. Now, now we we talked uh, a little while back about your last time you hung out with Prince. And um, for those that didn't hear, you want to say a little bit about the last time you hung out with Prince and some of his words of advice, the Lombardi of music. <laughs> You mean coach? Coach of music, yeah. Coach uh, Lombardi, yeah. He, uh, it wasn't the last time we hung out, but it was one okay. of the last times. Okay. He and I went to uh, to the Dakota, which is a great, great music bar here in Minneapolis. And we were watching Victor Wooten, and we talked the entire show. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought Victor was going to be like, hey, you two up there, shut up! It's <laughs> <laughs> hot. We sat and talked the entire time and got around to a conversation of, do you have a mentor, he asked me. And I'm like, well, yeah, my, my all my brothers and sisters are my mentors. He said, well, you should have a mentor. Mine's, mine's Larry uh, Larry Graham. And I went, yeah, man, that's great that you have somebody who can, does he actually give you, you know, advice and all that? He said, absolutely. He, so he kept prodding me, and he, I said, Prince, you want to be my mentor, my me- my coach? Maybe. I uh-huh. said, okay, coach. What would you do differently that I'm not doing? He said, you know what he said to me? He said, put down the bass and play the keyboards like I showed you 20 years ago. <laughs> 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 he said, no, here's what you got to hear. He said, the bass is a feminine instrument on you. I was like, <laughs> what? What? Well, that's a classic, Prince. Stuff, you know, wow, and uh, you know, I, I must say, the next show I played keyboard, I listened to it, and it was it was uh, quite fun. I mean, bass is super demanding, so I could I could do more things while just playing keyboards once in a while. So he has a point, and it was fun that we had that connection, especially towards the end of his life, considering the. You know the up and down relationship we had for years. So I really, really appreciated that that connection and camaraderie we, we finally found after all those years. Now, now I gotta I gotta disagree a little bit with Prince on there because I saw a video. You I think you were in Amsterdam and did a string break on your bass. Oh sure, and you yeah. were playing without a string. I'm saying that that's impressive and well, singing. <laughs> The show must go on, man. The show must go on. Right, right. How how soon into the gig did the the strap break? Oh, it was fairly immediate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you know, you just make do, and and uh, <laughs> yeah, those things happen all the time. Right, right. You can't stop the show. We're gonna get into uh, the second recent single from Paul Peterson it's called Something in the Water which really gives respect to uh, all the musicians in Minneapolis many who have been on our show but have definitely you've collaborated with and grew up listening to and uh, how did you get the concept for, for the video for this one the video is real nice same gentleman filmed this one as well mm-hmm. we, we just wanted to do something that was stylized and modern but he had a throwback, considering what I'm wearing and the uh, 
the car I'm driving. But it's funny. I do pay homage to a lot of the my mentors and my cohorts in crime. And John Green called me out and said, he, you didn't mention Prince. When, in fact, he was the first one I mentioned. That's true. We, yeah. called, him, we called him Uncle P. Uncle P, yeah. <laughs> I don't think that John was he wasn't hip to, the, to that. Yeah, he, that's right. You'd have to talk to Chris over at the Star Tribune. He's probably hip to that. <laughs> I saw I saw John Bream last night. I went to the Live Warfield show. Oh, we're, John's we're... an old friend of mine. He's been very good to my family. Yeah, he's he's been supportive of the music scene. I mean, he's a legend out there. He is a legend, and so is Liv. By the way, she just knocked me out. Yeah, where'd she play? The Dakota. Fine line. Oh, fine line. Okay. She was unbelievable. I love that girl. She's just a powerhouse. Yeah, yeah. Great, great vocalist. And, you know, the record she did with Prince, you know, vastly underrated. Right? Yeah. So let's get into this track, Something in the Water, and we'll come say goodbye. And uh, and uh, Paul Peterson is my special guest. This is called Something in the Water. Go to paulpeterson.com. Thursday night, New York City, the Iridium, right in Manhattan. Paul Peterson and their company tearing it up Minneapolis style in Manhattan. Hey, that's Michael P. Oh, yeah. Little Uncle P mentioned right there, so it's confirmed. Right. St. Paul Peterson with us. Yeah, at the Iridium, uh, you'll be there uh, Thursday night in New York City, 1650 Broadway. And uh, your brother-in-law on drums, let, let's get uh, his name out there, too. Jay Corcoran. And he's married to to uh, what side? Julie. To my wife, my wife's sister. Yep. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that's uh, going to be a great power trio there, and uh, we're really looking for the New York uh, fans to go see St. Paul Peterson. He is yeah, heavily involved. Uh, St. Paul Peterson is heavily involved in social media. Always. Uh, I don't know how you do it. To be honest, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I think it's annoying, isn't it? No, no, no. I'm saying that's a lot of talent to be able to keep things organized and, you know, have a great following. And, um, you know, I give you a lot of a lot of credit for doing that as well as producing and and also hosting a really great podcast. And um, talk about this because you got our friend Victor Wooten on tomorrow night. So this podcast is called Music on the Run, and I've been interviewing all sorts of artists about how they stay healthy on the road with their relationships, physically, mentally, because nobody really knows what, how hard it is to be out on the road. Mm -hmm. Your your relationship with your kids, your significant other, how you stay in shape, what you eat, all that kind of stuff. And, of course, we talk music, but Victor Wooten is on tomorrow. Uh, We've had on Steve Miller, Sinbad, Kevin and Michael Bacon, so many people. So go to musicontherunpodcast.com you can get all the links there we also shoot video on it so you'll be able to see that as well so Victor Wooden is tomorrow musicontherunpodcast.com I remember asking him years ago how do you because this guy's on the road all the time how do you you know keep it together and he said you got to get a lot of sleep you got to manage the sleep you can sleep anywhere that guy that's a gift Wow. Yeah, I couldn't do it. I call that survival. <laughs> well, I sure love being on and catching oh, up yeah, with you. Oh, yeah, always your... nice. One day we'll release the box set of uh, appearances from St. Paul Peterson on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, say hi to um, your brother-in-law and uh, also Carl Burnett uh, at the Iridium. Sure Paul will. Peterson bringing the Minneapolis funk and roll uh, to New York City. And, you know, we hope to have St. Paul Peterson and company here in Connecticut uh, in the near future. So have a great gig, and, and thanks, Paul. Thank you so much. Thanks to your fans. I appreciate it. Thursday night, March 12th in New York City at the Iridium, and that's going to be a special show. Uh, Paul Peterson, one of the funkiest cats around and just, just a nice guy from a nice family out in Minnesota. Um, that was... a. Uh, the version, nothing compares to you. Great orchestral uh, background right there. Paul Peterson, Susanna Melvoin, and uh, the family. They recorded that on record. Prince wrote that song, of course. And um, they also 
changed the name. Prince uh, actually made them change the name, but they go by F Deluxe now, and that was nothing compares to you. I wanted to play this right now because I love what they did here. Uh, there's a great show called uh, Jammin' in the Van, and Paul Peterson, Jackie Thompson helped hook that up, uh, Paul said. Um, they performed in the van. That was back last year in L.A. Paul's uh, daughter was uh, on the, the particular couple songs, maybe three songs they did, but this is one of my favorite because I love this song. Uh, Mutiny, originally recorded on the family's record. This is live, jamming in the van, Paul, St. Paul Peterson, and, uh, and he's going to get you dancing. Trust me, trust Everybody, me. This- 